How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother... F- hey, oh, it's the Chris Card Show. Hey, oh, it's- This show is brought to you by... Welcome back to another episode of the Chris Court Show. In front of me, Matt Thews Grobot. How you doing there, Matt? I'm doing okay, Chris. That's good, that's good, that's good. How are you doing tonight? Oh, shut up. That's rude. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> I do. Do you really care? How about yeah. how? Oh, okay. Um, we didn't get to do this little banter for the last episode. Yeah, uh, uh, how have I been doing? I I feel like I want to murder someone. Who you want to murder? I don't know. I just I, you ever get that like feeling like? Yeah, but that's just when I'm taking a shit. Oh yeah, I could see where that goes. From. <laughs> Sometimes I want to murder their, murder my shit too. I just want to murder the toilet with my shit. <laughs> and that's fine. You can because usually you do. I typically do i see the streak marks that you leave on my toilet here i don't think I, nah, you do i know actually i have not shit oh, at this you, house you're so embarrassed i have not shit at this house <laughs> you're so embarrassed to now me. if you said your toilet's at worth that's a different story i don't own them anymore <laughs> <laughs> those, those streaks are still there oh i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> they did they did not want to clean that uh, so tonight is a special episode, guys. Uh, we are not going to continue to talk. No, this is going to be a Chris Court Show classic. Episode. Chris Court Show classic. Coming at you live. Chris Court Show classic. <laughs> Coming at you live from 2011. 2011. <laughs> so this is actually from 2011. Uh, this is when we, um, or when I first started the podcast. Um, it was the third episode. I, I know I played... A, Season one, episode three. Yeah. I played the first episode a while back, and that was the Chris Court Show Classic, and now this is the third episode. Um, and in this uh, episode, this was recorded in 2011. Um, apparently, Mike was sick that, that yeah, day. Yeah, it seemed like it. And um, I had um, you someone... Had a, you had a guest. Someone from uh, my broadcasting school, uh, Brian Bullock. So if you're listening to this, Brian, uh, thank you for joining from 2011. <laughs> now it's 2024. Where the fuck have you been? Just transport himself to the future. Right, right, right. You need to... Um, so anyway... So this is a Chris Court Show classic. Uh, we don't have a regular episode today because we fell in line with doing an interview uh, that you'll hear next week. Um, awesome interview from uh, Alex O'Brien from Meeting of the Mimes, and That's it's correct. it's going to be a very good interview. It, uh, the video will be on YouTube. All this. Um, so till then. Listen to this Chris Scorcho classic. Man, you just said that you said that my voice was all youngy, huh? Yeah. You got some boogies hanging out of your nose right now too. Do I really? Oh yeah. It's oh, kinda okay. gross. Can you get it for me? No, you, I think you got it. I'm Did I get good. it? Yeah. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Um, but you, my <laughs> voice was was younger. Did you say that? Uh, yeah, you sound like a little uh bitch. Uh, younger kid. Yeah. You sound younger. You sound young. Did I really? Yeah. I don't think I did though. Compared to today you sound young. Yeah. yeah, I sound more of like a man. You sound a little hey bit more like a man. Hey there, man. How are you, <laughs> you dog? You sound like dog. one testicle dropped about halfway out. Yeah. Today compared to the last. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I might sound sexier as you were saying. I never said that. <laughs> All right, well, let's give this uh, clip a listen. This is from 2011. This is our third episode ever. And there's a couple bands that I play in there, 
in between, and I don't even know if they're still around anymore, but uh, take a listen, and um, what were the bands, actually? I'm going to You want to listen, you can, yeah. Um, Modern Chemists are played in here, Michael Scott McBride and uh, Cenobites, from, all from Chicago. So give it a listen, and again, I don't know if these bands are still going, but uh, you can, I guess, Google it if you want. But uh, here we go with uh, Brian Bullock as a special guest. Here we go. Thank you guys for listening. Remember, send your info <coughs> and your MP3s or YouTube channel to chriscorchow at gmail.com and be looking out for next week with Alex O'Brien from Meeting of the Mimes on YouTube. Why are you playing footsie with me? Fuck off. All right. Welcome back to the Chris Court Show. My name is Chris Court. Mike Barnish couldn't come today. He was a little under the weather. He texted me and said, hey, Chris, I can't make it. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I'm sure that he really was sick or whatever. He claimed to be in that text, but yeah, yeah, I'm. Wasn't it facial herpes or something like that? Isn't that, what, isn't herpes, that, isn't that what he that. said? <laughs> some some ridiculous crap like that. I I mean that that guy will try and uh, you know lie through his ass, but I you know I'm not I'm not buying it until I actually see it. By the way, this is Brian Bolak. <laughs> oh hey yeah yeah maybe introduction would have worked a little better than just going right into the no, facial hey. facial herpes material here, but um, yeah yeah great to be here, Chris. Uh, it's been a while since we've been able to. Hang out like this, and uh, you know, I'm glad the show's working out for you. I hope it continues to go well. Yeah, that would be fun if it if it actually worked. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, yeah. I miss those jokes actually. Yeah. It's, now Brian, he he was he graduated from uh, Illinois Center for Broadcasting School with me. Yeah, great and, great times. Yeah. yeah, it was good uh, times. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, all the f- I I remember mainly the friends that. I made and also the I made no friends there. Oh. Except for you. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if I consider you a friend, but Yeah. Um we're just kind of acquaintances. Yeah, we we just uh we just talk to each other when it's uh you know, convenient yeah. for for the other, like when we need a favor it's or something. It's kind of like we use each other like. Yeah, yeah, like when somebody asks you, "Hey, can I be on your can you be on my podcast cuz I don't really have anyone else. Yeah. I don't have any other friends, you know." Right. So, I mean, yeah, you know, next time, you know, when I Need a need some blog material or something like that. Maybe I'll, you know, give you. I'll maybe, write it out for you yeah, too. I'll be your yeah, secretary. That'd be great, and I'll make sure to rewrite everything that you write and just claim it to be my own. So that's <laughs> what I usually do with my blogs anyway. Nice, nice. Uh, so we did get more bands. We we, we actually we got a, we got a, a, a booty load of bands. Booty load. A booty load. I was actually surprised, and and um. Yeah, I was surprised. It now, was, now it is cool. is booty load. Is there is there a mathematical uh, you know equation to is it what is a booty load? Uh, a booty load would be like um, uh, a crap load. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That that's that's pretty easy to understand. Or a shit load. But I didn't want to say can the you, word. Can you, can you? You can't. I don't think you can't. I don't. I don't think you can say that. No. No. That's why it was beeped out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That that makes sense. All right. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, you know, as far as, uh, your music here goes, uh, I happen to know one of the bands that you're playing tonight. We got, uh, Modern Chemists, I think, coming up in a little bit. Happen to know them for the past couple of years. They've, they even, uh, two of them are in, in their own, uh, web show, just to plug that as well. Uh, Three Guys, One Room. It's, it's not a porn. I swear you could go on YouTube and it's, you know, Three Guys, it, One Room. Yeah. It's, it sounds, it sounds kind of, uh, you know, worse than it is, but no, it's actually a very good show. Um, I recommend, you know, giving it a chance. Uh, you can visit that at youtube.com slash 3G1R. But um, as far as their music goes, you can catch them on MySpace slash Modern Chemists. And they're a great group to listen to. I would, uh, you know, I'd recommend, you know, giving them a listen. And, you know, hopefully in the near future, you can be hearing them somewhere in the local bar again or something like that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, um, this song is a song that actually got some featured play on our school, uh, on our school radio station, The Edge, and this song is called All My Little Friends, and yeah, it's, it's a great song. Um, actually, all there's, 
songs uh, on this album, it kind of works like a Pink Floyd where all the songs go into the next like seamlessly. So I kind of like that aspect of it. And yeah, I mean, I would, uh, I, you know, I hope, I hope they can make it. So uh, this is Modern Chemist here with all my little friends here on the Chris Court Show. I wrote the book on self-control when things that drive us mad on pages from prescription pads Strap yourself in, become the right to places strange and new Find out it's just my That was Modern Chemist with All My Little Friends. You can check them out at myspace.com slash modernchemists, with an S, plural. Um, that was off their Oh Yeah, You Are the Best. They also have another album out that uh, was released, of course. Because nah, if it wasn't released, it then would, it wouldn't be an album. It would be unreleased. <laughs> but it's called Dawn and Dust, so check them yeah, out. Great awesome stuff. Awesome band. Great stuff. So tell us... Uh, Tell us about your online dating. Oh, thanks. How's that going? Because uh, Brian, what Brian did was he went on an online dating site. Yep. And and you found a female. Yeah. It wasn't a male. Uh, it was no. a female. No, I actually ended up meeting her. It was, it was unusual that based on some perceptions you get, you hear some horror stories about some really bad... Horror stories? Well, some not horror. Not, not W-H-O-R-E. Yeah, this yeah. is a... 
Are you smarter like, than a fifth grader? So now? pretty much horror. Horror, yes. Horror, okay. Ma- maybe I need to uh, enunciate my R's yeah. a little better. Um, horror, horror mm. stories about um, about dating sites. And, you know, I was hoping that, you know, these were just kind of myths. And, you know, my first couple days on the site, I tried to uh, message a bunch of different girls, mainly in the local area here. And, um, you know, I've talked to a couple of them. Uh, there's one in particular I ended up going on a date with last week. It went pretty well mm-hmm. um, and had a good time. And, you know, I'm hoping that the dating site, you know, keeps working for me and maybe meet some more new people. And, um, you know, I, I I definitely found some very interesting uh, things that I would never have guessed about dating sites, um, especially the number of people that actually go on dating sites that are actually dating somebody already. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm not really interested in getting involved with people who are already involved with people. Yeah. Uh, no. Because uh, that's, that's just, just that's dangerous. Yeah. And I mean, th- those type of people, I don't know if they just need th- they have something that's missing in their current relationship. Obviously, they do because they're yeah. on a dating site. Um, but it just kind of weirded me out to see how many people actually go on this site like girls obviously I'm, I'm I was focused on uh, the girls that's what they uh, have on my on my page but as far as the number of girls that are already seeing someone that was probably the most unusual unexpected thing I guess, I guess it shouldn't be unexpected with how often people will cheat um, or at least the perception of how often people cheat yeah but yeah I mean other than other than that I've been I was pleasantly surprised with um, just actually getting to meet someone that was on this site and the person actually was who they were. And, you know, you know, at the very least, I think, you know, I'll at least have somebody that I could talk to for a while. Uh, you know, you'll have a friend. Yeah. At at the very least a friend. And, you know, it's always nice to meet new people because, you know, I don't know how you are with new people, but I don't like new people, you know, like new people. Yeah. I I I only like new people if they listen to the show. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I could see your... And they actually like it. Yeah. If they don't like it, then I, I, I don't like it. Well, them. how do you know if they like it or not? Um, by the Facebook likes. Uh, <laughs> so so you really believe that people just will only hit like, uh, you know... If, if they if like they me. like it. Yeah. Not, you don't think they'll just hit it just to make you feel good? Oh, uh, I'm sure they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think you're kind of whoring yourself out there with the yeah, likes. I'm, well, I I'm definitely a whore. I mean, I, I guess I guess you kind of have to whore yourself out, though. Uh, you know, in your position. Yeah, um, because it, the, it's a, it's a big competition, so I, I don't see any other way to whore myself out. Whore, 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 or whore. Um, oh, both. We, we gotta. Yeah. I'm gonna go with both on that one. Okay. Because I don't want to horror myself. No. Like, no, you don't want to scare people. It's, yeah, you don't want to scare people, but you also don't want to horror yourself, as no. in like, you know, a horror. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, as far as the new people thing goes, I, I was gonna say before you were talking about your horror, 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 whatever you were talking about, I. I've run out of new people to meet, and that's where I've met most of the girls that I've dated. Yeah. So I felt like the dating site was my best option, and you know I hope that it continues to work out for me. And I've noticed that uh, with the blog that I write, that uh, three out of my top. F- where, where can you where where can you find oh, your my blog? blog. Oh my blog! Oh my uh... great blog! It is um, it is blogspot dot com slash bebo knows. I you'd probably better be off. Googling that, but it's I think it's B hyphen Bo knows. I, I I believe I'm I'm not really promoting myself very well here, but um, they my three out of my top four blogs I've, I've written blogs for a whole year, and the last three blogs I've written about dating are in my top five, which just shows goes to show you how interested people are in people's dating lives. I think that's the reason why reality shows are as popular as they are. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know, I, I you don't even need to date. No, yeah, it's not all cracked up. No, is it? it's not. I mean, because well, I mean, yes, it is. I'm sure it has its benefits. Yes, it is. It's very cracked up. You should do it, Brian. Why? So I could be as miserable as you. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're, no, you're, I'm you're, no, I'm not miserable. No, I'm not miserable. I, I like the girl I'm with, and uh, 
I, I, oh God, she's going to kill me for that one. No, she, she, she knows, she knows, she knows who you are. <laughs> so, all right, let's get back on with this music. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Brittany Warren. Um, she gave me a lot of band leads, uh, a lot of bands emailed me, and thank you, Brittany. You helped me out a lot. Also, I'd like to thank Paul Schlatzka. He helped me out a lot. Thank you, guys. Um, so, as, as we uh, carry on here, uh, this is Michael Scott McBride. Uh, basically, he's a Chicago-based musician, yeah, and he's currently working on his second album. Uh, the music can be des- des- best described as gospirational with a hint of dance. Uh, he's leading music at conference in L.A. at Phoenix and uh, leads a church rock band and choir weekly in Chicago. So this is uh, Michael Scott McBride, and the song is called No Big Deal, here on The Chris Court Show. Sky is falling, collectors calling, we be stalling out. Enemies brawling, oh I'm crawling, all or nothing but doubt. I can't take it much longer. This just cannot be real You and me getting stronger It's just the way that I feel It's no big deal when you're standing with me Ooh, I'm feeling so good to know that you're mine It's no big deal, maybe we can be free Hey, it's all as it should be We're doing fine, it's no big deal could it be if the world moves so fast and if the storm's about to blast that I don't worry about the past? Here's a broadcast just to contrast everything around us seems so abundantly vast. I got a crazy hunger, but if life is in me, you and me get getting stronger. It's just the way that I feel. It's no big deal when you're standing with me Ooh, I'm feeling so good to know that you're mine It's no big deal, baby, we can be free Hey, it's all as it should be, we're doing fine It's no big deal when you're standing with me Ooh, I'm feeling so good to know that you're mine It's no big deal, baby, we can be free Hey, it's all as it should be, we're And life comes up blue I call for rescue, you're here right on cue And I know that everything is gonna be like you All because it's no big deal when you're standing with me Ooh, I feel it's so good to know that you're mine Listening to the Chris Court Show, where we play all your unsigned music. Do you have an underground business that you would like to promote? Send us information on the business and we will play it here. It will give yourself good promotion. Just send all the information to Chris Court Show at gmail.com. Alright, that was Michael Scott McBride with No Big Deal. 
You can check him out at michaelscottmcbride.com. Very good song. Very uh, gaspirational, as you would put it. Yeah, it, you know. I think I think that describes it best. Yeah, the dance. That was cool. I, I think that's actually our, one of our first times that we had a, a da- kind of dance song on here. Yeah, maybe you should look into trying get trying to get more of that because. Yeah, I was uh, actually dancing here in the studio. Yeah, I mean, you really don't want to see the type of dancing that he does. It might. Uh, no. It no. might. It might offend people if they actually saw how you were dancing. Cause yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to see me dance. It's kind of like. It's kind of sexy. Yeah. So it might. It might uh, disturb people, but at the same time, it might arouse them. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the best way to put it. I can. I can arouse the. Uh, the unwilling to yeah. whatever that means that means yeah, nothing I, we don't I, even need to t- touch base on that, that no means i don't want to touch nothing. anything to do it with means that. it means nothing brian i don't even know where i was going with that no. i just said i'm going to arouse the unwilling yeah We're, you know that's that it shouldn't that's, that's pretty well it's kind of that's kind of a trick question because no one would be unwilling around you so i agree so I agree. It, it really wouldn't be an issue Speaking of uh, arousing. Oh, boy. I don't know if... Sh- should I zip my pants up for this? Wait. Zip my pants up. I mean, yeah. keep my pants zipped for this one. Well, well, that was weird. Yeah. Um. Anyway, a woman a woman in Amsterdam. So she's a Dutch woman. Right? Okay. She was, she was charged with stalking a man. Uh, basically, what she did was she called the man sixty five thousand times in one year. Sixty five thousand times. How is that? How is that even possible? Um, I can make it possible. You 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 can make that you can make that possible. Yeah, I can make it possible. I'm pretty sure I did once in my life. Because I mean, I, I'm just trying to imagine trying to call somebody that that many times, and that's like. Well, I, here here's the catch. The guy was sixty two years old. He should be happy that somebody's calling. Well, yeah, him. yeah, that's what I, I mean, thought. You know, if it's not his life alert, somebody should he should be glad that you know hey. somebody's talking to him, right? Well, basically, what she said was that they had a relationship and they were in a relationship. Okay, I wonder if they met online. They probably did. It's it's possible. See, you can you can have this it's kind of possible. relationship. I mean, I I hope these aren't the type of people that I'm going to be meeting on my site. Oh, that's what you are meeting on the site. I, I mean, because <laughs> no, mean, I'm kidding. You're yeah. going to do good, kid. I, I hope. I hope. I hope I'm not <laughs> meeting any 42 uh, year old women uh, that are going to be calling me 65 thousand times because yeah. I really don't really don't have the time for that many calls. I mean, that's like. That's like an insane like that's about probably two hundred calls a day or something like that. Yeah, that's about as much as the Pope gets. Yeah, the Pope. <laughs> Who calls the Pope? I don't know. Do you, I do sometimes. You call the Pope? Yeah, I say Pope. Help. Yeah, yeah what's up, Pope? <laughs> There's no hope with Pope. No, that wrong too. Actually, no. Actually, there is hope with Pope. Yeah. Uh, I don't. But know. so what? <laughs> when the man, <laughs> when the man uh, was asked, uh, "Well, do you have a relationship with this lady?" And he said, no, I don't have a relationship. And so the court ordered her not to contact him again. Again? Uh, well, well, you know, after the 65,000 times yeah, in one year, I, I would I would hope. I mean, maybe 64,999 times was okay. Yeah, that ain't but that, bad. That, that, ain't one, bad at all. that one extra time that just put him over the edge. Because, I mean, you, you, would think at, you would think at a certain point, maybe at – you know, I don't know, the 10th time or the 20th time that maybe he would try and put a stop to this? Yeah. But why would it take 65,000 calls? Well, the 10th or 20th time in a year ain't too bad, right? No, I mean, that's spread out across a year. That's like once or twice a month. But we're talking about 65,000 times in a year. I mean, I don't I get that many calls in a year from all my friends. I, I, it probably, I don't even know if I've gotten that many calls in my lifetime. Yeah. I mean, that's insane. Well, I, I know. I know I have <laughs> I mean, nowadays especially, I I mean, I'd rather, I mean, I probably texted somebody 65,000 times, but it's been a friend of mine, certainly not a 60-year-old man. Certainly not a foe. Certainly not a 60-year-old man that um, I claim to have a relationship with. Right. I mean, because that would just be weird. Well, yeah. I mean. Not really. No. But it would be. It could be. Yeah, it would be. I mean. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's how life happens, I guess, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, it's I don't know. I I I couldn't deal with that many calls. That's all I know. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It really is. 
All right, Brian. Well, thank you very much for coming on here. And, well, thanks uh, for having me. I hope this show continues to prosper. And you yes, know, if prosper. You want, if you want uh, have me back some other time, great. If not, then I understand that too. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we probably we won't can, hit you back. So and we can. Yeah, no, we, just, we could break this off on. You know, <laughs> let's just. Uh, you know, let's just be friends and let's just have oh, a good yeah. time and have have some beers and you know, keep, yeah. keep this thing going. But good luck with this show, man. Yes, thank you very much. That's Brian, and we were going to have him as a guest here with Mike Barnish, but like I said, Mike Barnish is sick. Um, he'll be here next Thursday, so be looking out for that. Um, I'd like to thank all the bands uh, that we played today, Modern Chemists, uh, Michael Scott McBride, and right now we're going to be listening to the Cenobites. I'd like to thank Brittany Warren, Paul Schlatzka, Brian, thank you very much. Remember, guys, if uh, you know any bands or, or you're in a band yourself, send uh, MP3s and information, all that, to uh, chriscourtshow at gmail.com. That's where you can send all this stuff, and then you can get on air here. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, this is Cenobites. Uh, you could check them out at discorporaterecords.com. Uh, they are a punk thrash band. Uh, Cenobites, this song is called already dead here on the chris court show thank you that that is not my future i'm not gonna be buried in a grave when i'm dead just throw me in the trash again thank you for listening to the chris court show remember if you have a band or business or know someone that has a band or business send all the info and mp3s to chris court show at gmail.com you can find a new episode every thursday on facebook podbean and itunes tell us what you think of the show and rate us at chris court show dot podbean as in a bean bag <laughs> dot com Remember, that's chriscourtshow.podbean.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.